Hey guys, Bruno from Mustache Flyer. I'm coming out today with a tech tip. We are going over me installing my comm radio antenna and everything that we have going on with the avionics. I wanted to talk to you guys about this because I've been asked a lot about it, what I'm planning on doing, what I'm using. So I'm using RG400 and we're gonna zoom you guys down here so you can see everything that we have going. Um, a lot of people are gonna ask why are you using RG400 over some of the other things that are out there. And the reason being is RG400 is the good middle ground of the road for us budget builders and experimental aviation because it's not gotta be certified, but this is what they run in all your Cessnas and things like that. So let's talk, what do we have here? We have our UHF, um, our VHF antenna. We've got our RG400, it's a couple feet. Uh, this is what I've measured out for me. And then we have our BNC male crimp connector. And inside that package, you're gonna have the BNC fitting itself, a crush connector, and then also this little guy here, which is the middle tang that goes on this guy here. Now, tool-wise, this is gonna be super simple, but you need to go ahead and invest in yourself. And when you do this, you're gonna get these guys here, these locking crimpers. These are about 45 bucks on Amazon. Uh, these are a little more expensive, um, but when you do that, the biggest thing people are going to say, oh, you can use a razor blade. Go ahead and spend the extra six bucks to get this splicer here that cuts everything nice and clean. Uh, the reason being is, you, yeah, you can sit here and measure three eighths down and then three eighths from that, and you're going to have to cut and get all your grounding wire off. So just make your life a lot simpler. You're going to be doing a couple of these, so spend the extra six bucks and get it done. All right, so where do we start? Well, we've got our RG400 here. We know on our antenna side, we need a BNC milk connector. So we're gonna start there. I've got my pieces laid out here. I'm gonna grab my splicer here. And as you can see, there's actually a diagram of how this works. So we wanna put this guy in here like that. Just like that. And then you're gonna notice there's some clicks here and what this is doing is pushing the blades in where it needs to go. So we're going to start on the first setting, which I'll move this back where it actually needs to be, like that. And once it's spun, then I click it to the next one, spin it, and once I feel that it's loose, click it to the last one. And you can hear, I'm sure, everything cutting. That's all that grounding wire. Now you could sit here and just pull, but I don't like to do that. So I just pull by my hand. You can see there's that. And we pull the second one off. That gives us to our nylon. And then the next one, it's a little more difficult. You might have to grab um, a pair of pliers or something to pull it off. But what it is is just being held on ever so gently. And it comes off on our grounding wire just like that. So super simple. And the thing about this is this: these wires in the middle are the most important you're going to need to make sure that you don't get any wires uh, on the outside of our brass fitting. The reason being is uh, it will cause a grounding issue. And so what I'm gonna do here, it's really, really hard to see. I understand that, but you can see that metal piece there. So I'm gonna take this tang and push it down in it like that. And you can see that it, it doesn't lay flat with our nylon. So I've got to cut this wire until that happens. So we're going to cut it there and it should be pretty good. So we put on our copper piece here and just like that. It's still not laying flat on it. That would be good enough. You could press down like that, but I'm a perfectionist. So I'm going to cut that next little bit off. It's not very much. Make sure my wires, make sure there are no wires sticking out because if you get if you get a grounding, you're gonna kill your avionics. It's just how it works. So that one sets flat like that. So I can grab my crimpers here and where it says 0 0.068, which is what size this is. I'm just gonna slide this guy in there like that, flush. Hold it against it. And crush it until I hear the clicks. And there you go. So you can see, now it's on there perfectly. It doesn't pull off. Now, the next part's a little more tricky, but we're gonna take our compression sleeve here, stick it over it. Now, these grounding wires, again, are the biggest part of this. So, we're gonna 
take and push this guy in and you're gonna hear a snap and when you hear a snap it is this middle copper piece getting into the spot it needs to be but we need to make sure that these grounding wires on the are on the outside of our fitting so I'm just gonna sit here and kind of kind of do that until I hear the click which should happen here there you didn't get to hear it but I felt it you'll feel it more than you'll hear it so now that these grounding wires are over it I'll slide my compression sleeve down over everything just like that and then I'll go in here to the second biggest crimp which is 0.213 and you'll hear it and there you go I'll double check now the thing with these are grounding issues so we're gonna grab a multimeter we're gonna put it on the audio for grounding so that would mean that I have a short in the system we're gonna take our ground put it on the outside of our fitting and then we're gonna touch the inside and we don't hear anything so that means that this is a good crimped on connection we're going to do it on the other side and as you can see this works out perfect for my com antenna so i hope you guys have enjoyed this i hope you guys are out following your dreams and passions in aviation uh, if you have more tech questions like this get a hold of me we'll try to do small videos like this i'm trying to do everything i can for you guys um, like I said, hope you're following your dreams, your passion in aviation. This is Bruno, Mustache Flyer. I'll catch you guys on the next one.